Alrighty, we are back. So, ooh, last time we were... Nailed him. Last time we were starting on... A bunch of goodies here. Okay, uh, last time we got our storage organized, which is good. We also had started building our initial... Um, base ring here yeah this is the base ring at this point oh and then these three i'm gonna knock out and make something different so yeah this one so we want to knock out this one this one um we're gonna do this many again i remember doing this many last time and i think it worked out better Because we're going to go with frame shapes, because the frame shapes here, or these cube frames, they um, don't take damage from, like, you can shoot through them, and it doesn't damage the actual piece itself. Yeah, so if we look here, yeah, see, it's it's doing just fine. But yeah, so basically we do that, that way we can build off of that and not worry about making a mess. Excuse me, sir. Oh, it did not give me the thingy for that. The game's like, no sneak attack for you. Come on. There we go. Those tubbies have so much health. I think they're called tourists is what they are. Got a bunch of water. Okay, let's work on this. Oh, regular water. I need 21 minutes worth. That's not how much I have. Yeah, let's do another 100. And then I think I need two more. Because this cook time is what, 21? Yeah. There we go, 24. Cool, cool. All right, and then I need a bunch of... This and yellow, but I don't have any yellow. We'll have to go harvest some real quick. Come here, miss. Just wanted to say hi. Got her. Okay. Yeah, so we need some goldenrod, which I think there's a bunch way out here. So one of my super early recipes I was able to pick up is the filtered water, which is really good, but... It requires a lot more processing to do. We need a bunch of goldenrod. Oh. Do I have a point available? I do. Let's throw one point into living off the land so I can get double. There we go. Because, yeah, just, just one point into living off the land is enough to, like... Like, if you're planning on cooking but not farming, just one point is usually enough. Because I, if I remember right... Points wise, yeah, the first one doubles the harvest. Yeah, one will double what you harvest. And then the second one is a chance to harvest additional crop. And then the third one is triple harvest. So, yeah, even just doing the first one is a lot better than not at all. Is that it? I thought there was more. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to talk? Wanted to invite you over for a party. Got him. Trying to keep an eye on my stamina here. My character is thirsty, which is why I'm working on this. But because of that, I'm also low as well. All right. I don't think I currently have a quest. I do not. Yeah, if I remember right, I turned in my quest and the other two quests were really, really far away. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, we also have this that we need to place at some point. So let's talk to Jen first and you see what good. she'll give us. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Oh my gosh, seriously, Jen? Berry supply is 500. Okay. Oof. Be careful and try not to get yourself... 
yeah, her quests have been horrible. We only got three or four close ones, and now they're all, like, multiple KOA. Man, that is so slow. Wait. It's gonna say because I didn't put a single point into Master Chef yet. Yeah, cook 40% faster. That's what's happening here. Um. Okay. Six minutes. Let's do it. That's insanely slow, but I'm far enough away from the next one. Oh, let's do this. Okay. Working on my quick stacking. How thirsty am I? Eh, medium thirsty. Problem is I really don't want to wait for two minutes for another one of those. Do we have any water available at all? No. How long till we get one more of these? A minute? Because I'd really like to pop like one pure mineral and then take off, but it's a two minute wait. Here, we'll, we'll do this in the meantime. We'll go... I'm trying to remember the dimensions of this. I can work on a little bit of base before I head out. Not a ton, but a little bit. Oh, that's right. The The same rule applies here. So if we go out three. So we go one, two, three. This is the outside perimeter right here. Because the dimensions of my house make it so that you're able to put a gate touching on this side and a gate touching on this side. So you go over one, two, and then three, you hit the wood. So that means, yeah, right here should be the side of the house. Because yeah, it should be one, two, and then a blank, and then this piece here, yeah. Should work pretty good. And I think I am going to shift it again, but I I think I have it set to the wrong side to shift. Because if you look here, this usually lines up. So if we're here, this usually lines up with the door, which means here would be the door. Like this. And if that's the door, that only leaves me three spaces here, but it leaves me one, two, three, four spaces here. Which means if I put this guy down, it's going to go right there, right, to line up with the door. And then that way I can place two next to each other and then two in the floor. And then I'll have my chemistry station right here and then one in the floor. And then I'll have two forges and then two in the floor. It's really, really compact, this base design. It's very compact. But I want this to line up with the door to the, um, the fighting position over there. Which reminds me, how are we doing fighting position ammo-wise? We have 10 Molotovs and 12 pipe bombs. Plus whatever we have on the bow, which is 76. And then... Yeah. We, we should be okay. How am I doing? Yeah, give me one of those and off we go. Because, yeah, the goal here is we want to, um, since we're only doing half-hour days, we're going to have a horde soon. I want to say in the next hour should be the horde. Because generally the recordings end around 4 in the morning. So there's a really good chance that we're going to have the entire horde like all of day six and all of day seven into the horde. Oh. I missed. Got him. Another thing I need to watch out for is if there's goldenrod up this hill, I should harvest a bit of that too. Not a ton, but a little. 
Maybe try to bring home like 30 or 40 if I can find it. Because we're officially to the point where we're going to be wanting to... Uh oh I hope we're not going into the snow biome for this dig, dig one. I really don't want to be in the snow if I can help it. I am. Going straight into the snow. Love it. Oof. I just realized the crop growing has got to really suck in the snow biome because you don't have access to any of the seeds. Like, you'd have to kind of run and wander off to find some. Um, not too bad. At least it's a nice wide open area that we're digging in. Wow, that's bright. All right, now, if I remember right, I think you can... I think you can kind of line up with the actual item on this one, if I remember right. It's like the one... It's like the one saving grace of doing these quests. Oh, let me out. Hello, lady friend. Come here. Angle shot. Okay. Howdy, sir. Howdy, ma'am. Come here. Oh, no. And it's going to drop that out into the snow biome now because of that. Ow. Oh, and I run out of stamina. Lovely. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I really don't want to chase that out into the snow biome. I really don't. It's actually not too far off of this road right here. Maybe we'll give it a go. It's only 1 o'clock, yeah. If we're fast, we should be able to do it. I can actually get out of the snow biome for part of it as well, so that, that's a little bit better. Golden rod. Oh, I thought there was another golden rod. Whoops, clumsy me. There we go. Nice. Yeah, not gonna lie, having the college jacket and one point in the runner this early on in the game is super nice. Although my character is gonna be hungry in a minute, so I'm not looking forward to that. But I do have a minute and a half of efficient digestion still, so we at least got that going for us. That was a level six sledgehammer it just gave me. Run in, run in, run, run in, run in. Okay, it is off of the road. Okay. One Mr. the Lumberman. Always got to watch out for the stumps in case I get lucky and get a honey off of it. Funny enough, the herbal antibiotics are really good and are infinitely easier to get and make. Uh-oh. There we go. Just trying to make sure we don't accidentally get stuck with a bunch of penalties while trying to run back, because that would suck. Hey, look, another stump. No honey, though. That's okay. I missed. Does effic efficient digestion, does that increase the speed that you 
regen energy. Because that seems really fast to me. I'm not complaining. Like, if that's how that is, like, I might look into that. <laughs> Chicken's like, duck and weave, duck and weave. Yeah, I prefer running with the bow out because it covers less of your screen. Now there's a chance that we might do something silly like go for a trek. We might go for like a trek or something. Yeah, look how fast that's going up. I think that does affect it. I think the efficient digestion helps that a lot. But maybe that's just me. I officially have two playthroughs going at the same time right now that I'm both excited for both. So I'm pretty excited. Let's not. Assault. Harvest, okay. Also, the nitrate is not super important at this stage of the game. And when it does become important, it'll we'll focus it down later. Any more goldenrod on the side of the road? A little bit. We did get some farm stuff, which is cool. Again, that's one of those trees that I like want to put some points into, but I need to like fight a really nasty horde in order to get any value out of it. And that's one of those moments where I might do something silly. I might see about making like a really nasty hordes or something. You're Here's your pay for a job well done. Maltovs. Hands down Maltovs. Okay. Um, I knew you had it in you. Good work. Um, let's see here. Whoop. Bicycle. Okay. Wow, I didn't I want two in water you. filters, Good please. Job. You need some work? Fantastic. Hope to see you soon. And then no more jobs. Okay. Wow, we actually made that happen really fast, which makes me happy. How are we doing? We have, like, no bandages, I just realized. Let's take all the aloe cream, because we can work with that. Goldenrod, we have the better water already. I really want this bow. Like, that's the real thing that I want Thanks from her business. inventory. Stay safe out there. But I don't think I have enough to sell yet to make to be able to buy that. Yeah. I've got like maybe another thousand, thousand and a half. Throw the sledgehammer in the collection box. Okay, and then we're gonna go cooking for the snow and the water. Medical. Bandage. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. If I remember right. If I remember right, I do a ring around the outside. Yeah, so this is the wall, and then this is the r empty ring, so right here. There we go. What seeds did it give me? A corn, a, po a potato, and an aloe. Nice. And apparently I'm hungry. Give me some miso, and then I'll probably save the tuna. 
Did I manage to... I did. Okay. We need one Master Chef, just because that's, like, standard. Okay. Cancel that. There we go. Way better. We need pure mineral. We need coal. Coal is right over here. Right there? Yeah. I just realized I don't know if I ever actually use coal as my fuel, so fuel source for, like, when I'm smelting stuff. Usually I just do wood blocks, but maybe I should start looking into coal. There are some benefits and bonuses for doing that, but... Okay. The other things here is I want to go... Bicycle, which I need forged and duct tape. Forged and duct tape. Okay, so let's go duct tape first. Make me 23. Wow, the satellite building, like, that should be just standard in the game, really. That's so good. Alright, so I should be able to say water now. out yeah make me 17 that'll be 21 minutes oh coal isn't worth that much so was it 21 Cook. all right increase that by one the next question is, can I do bake bacon and eggs? I can. Bacon. I want 25. Yeah, let's do it. Um, 21 minutes. 21 on top of the one. Okay, that should be enough. And then we'll increase that to another one to lock it. And then we will dump the water. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I will definitely not be able to have this base up and running for the horde, but that's okay. I mean, it'd be close. If I spent all of now till then building it up, it might be ready. But at that point, that's just a lot of time wasted, you know. And I'm hungry. But that's okay. I'm going to be here for a while anyway, so I might as well get some some base building done. I do kind of like doing the half-hour days with, like, triple experience. I could even get away with maybe double experience instead of triple experience. But something I found is because I play by myself almost exclusively on games like this... Um, I don't have the luxury of having other players that pick up the other trees for me. So really, I just set it on double or triple, or at least 50%. I think my last playthrough, or my last two or three playthroughs I've done, I, I just set it on 50% bonus experience, which worked out pretty good. The 50% bonus was good. Because I'll do like 50% experience and then 50% loot. And that works out pretty darn good. One. Nice. The other thing is construction, you can level up fairly fast from construction anyway, but with the triple experience, it's way fast. Trader Joel's is now closed. That is so loud. Oh, it's a bunny. That's a cute little bunny. I officially have all the stamina stuff so I can do this, which is nice. 
never run out of stamina while I'm doing my mining. You know, I think if I run out of water, I think if my water goes low, then I run out, but otherwise I'm fine. Figure I get a little bit of this done real quick. Because I think if I do just this deep, I'm pretty sure if I just do this deep and then throw the, the, the wall around the outside there, I could technically use this base for my horde. But it's a tad risky. Worst case scenario, I just find a, a house somewhere and just like kind of hang out on the roof. Build a little what looks like a path up to me and then just go crazy on him there. But if I have the choice of that or my, my base base, I'd much rather fight the horde here. Which, as long as there's no cops, it shouldn't be an issue. Usually the issues I run into is, like, if there's birds on the first horde, then, like, I might run into a little bit of issue. Not, not a ton, but a little. And I think that water, the dew collectors, are scripted to time. Like, the number of hours. Which means, I think when you do half hour days, you need less dew collectors to get the same amount of water. Which is pretty sick. Oh yeah. If I can do just this deep for the first horde, I should be able to have this base ready to, ready enough by then. Look at how much wood I have on me. Wood block. Make me another 50, will ya? Because there's a certain amount I need to set up for just the initial base bit. You know, just the, the standard wall bit. If I can do that, I should be okay. Interestingly enough, my character is still quite hungry, but we're doing okay. I also realized I don't think I have any points into parkour yet, so I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm doing this. See, that's the one sad thing about these playthroughs for how I build this is the the very beginning is kind of slow because of this but once you get past this bit it's very fast but to be fair that's what the night cycle is for is giving you time to work on other stuff oh come on okay there we go yeah, see, if this is this deep, generally speaking, the zombies shouldn't use it as a way out. The one thing I was looking at, and I don't think there is one, is there isn't a increase um, mining speed. So, like, you can increase the damage to block, but once you're one-shotting blocks, it doesn't matter. And since I do the increased damage to blocks, it doesn't matter nearly as much, but it's okay. Not gonna lie, we're doing pretty good. We might be able to fight the horde in this. I also need to keep track, because if the episode is going to end at the 4 minute mark, or the 4 a.m. mark, or something like that, then that should work out. Because then we could fight the Horde in the next episode, and then be done by 4. Because 4 is when it officially forces the Horde to end anyway, which is kind of one of those moments where it's like, where we're doing 30 minute horde or 30 minute days, do we just increase the horde count anyway? Like make it way bigger, just because the hordes are going to be so so fast. Like 
you know, by the time your first wave is done, it's basically the next day anyway. 